everyone, it's Rachel here from Rich and Bella Crafts. Thanks for joining me again today. Um, I'm just going to do a quick video today to show you how to make the basic envelope. Um, well, obviously we've been looking at some different designs um, in the last couple of videos, but I want to just take you back and just look at the basic um, composition of how to make some um, simple envelopes. Um, so to start with, the first sheet that we're going to do, you're going to need a square piece of paper. Now, the, um, the the books that we all have, the book pads, they're ideal for this because they're already shaped in a square. Um, you can also use um, book pages, dictionary pages, um, coffee paper, music paper, all those kinds of things. Um, but for this project, I'm going to use um, some of my square paper. Up. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is take your, um, your square, line it up. I like to use the lines on my cutting mat if I can, but we're not going to be particularly precise about this. We're just going to eyeball it and um and we we'll take it from there obviously if you want to be really 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 precise you can measure every line and but we haven't really got time for things like that have we so let's just um take it in and we'll just use the eye our eye with the lines on the cutting board um so you're going to bring the first flap in here and then you're going to bring the second flap in here now they need to meet almost meet rather at the center but not overlap definitely not overlap um so that'll give you that shape there then and then you're simply going to fold up the bottom and bring that then um, in line with um, in the centre there. So again, just, just eyeballing, checking that you're happy with that, folding that over. You can use your bone folder then to just obviously depend on what type of paper and how thick your paper is. Um, this particular pad of uh, six by six i'm using is quite thick so again just to do that and then uh final bit then obviously is to pull down our flap at the top so once we've done that and we make sure that it's all um in line so let me just straighten that up there you will notice about the, your envelope oh gosh it's actually quick note don't do this with striped paper because it's really funky on the eyes <laughs> Okay, it was a bit of a, a pink uh, elephant moment then from the Dumbo. But yeah, right, so there's, there's our envelope shape. So we're just going to tidy up some of the edges now. So what you might notice is that you've got these uh, little flaps of paper here, which are all right, they're not really bothering anybody, but just to get rid of the bulk, because we don't like bulk in our journals, do we? Um, you can just simply cut those, those little triangles out. And that then will just make it a little bit easier then when folding um, and sticking your envelope. So I just get rid of those a second. One there and one there. And then we'll just double check that then. Obviously you can use um, one of these to do that job. Oh, if I can pick it up. That is a corner cutter or a notch cutter. Um, um, basically the idea is, is that you place it onto the corner and if you can just about see there where there's a little V, I hope the light is hitting the paper right, where there's a little V then you would then cut the notch. Obviously I haven't got a big enough piece to take out there but but you can do that then all the way around and it'll just leave a nice little notch shape but absolutely not necessary. Great if you've got one but if you haven't that what I did there with the scissors does exactly the same job. Basically just removes any excess um, card from your corners. So if any of you do have those lurking in your um, stash at home, you now know what, and you didn't know what it was for, you now know what that's for. Um, okay, so there we go, that folds down a bit better there now. Now there's a couple of different things that you can do to modify your um, your finish on the envelope. So um, some people like to turn down the top of the, uh, the, the bottom flap so that you end up with a little nice, um, shape there, a nice square across the top, which can make it nice and neat then when you're putting things in and out. Um, so if you're going to do that, you need to glue that little flap down there or just cut it off. Um, and then the top flap then, when you bring that down, you could also then use your corner cutter and you could take that off there, literally like that. And then that just gives you a bit of a just an, a different shape, not so it's nicer or anything else. And then obviously to finish, we're just simply going to glue um, the envelope shut. So I'll put a little bit on that flap there and glue that down. And then we are just going to glue here. Obviously not going all the way up because we're only going to be meeting, going to where we meet here. Stay down there. 
There we go. And hopefully that will do the job. You can do that with double-sided tape. You can use whatever glue you've got to hand for that, but obviously just make sure um, that it doesn't overlap and then uh, stick your envelope shut. But that's that's it, that's as simple as that. That is that style envelope. Um, here's another one that I did earlier on with some embossed paper. So that's another style you might like to try. Um, and again, simply same thing, fold it up and then you can finish off then however you want to do that. Okay, so that's that style. Then we've got, um, if you have got rectangle sheets, this is the time to grab your rectangle sheets because we are now going to do something similar to what we did with the um, Edith Holden. So take your rectangle sheet of paper, fold it up to, actually let's do it this way because that's a bit more attractive, fold it up to um, just over, just over the two thirds. So obviously you've got one third, second third, and that's your third third, but we're going to go just, just over into that bit there. So the last bit doesn't need to be quite as big as the other bit. Um, Make sure that's straight. Okay, do a line. Lovely, lovely. And then bring in the top flat down. But as I said to you before, try to leave a centimetre gap um, for that fold there because it just helps with the finish when you've got that little gap at the top. It just makes it a little nicer on the eye, I find. Um, okay, so that's your basic shape there. Open that back out. So now, this time, we are going to take um, a centimetre approximately, just to make a little flap all the way up here with your finger, trying to keep it as straight as possible. Um, if you find it helps, you can score this on a scoreboard. Um, but again, there's really no need for you to have any other... Uh, tools to do this other than um, your scissors to cut your notches and a bit of glue but other than that you really don't need anything else so literally just eyeballing that down there so now we've got two flaps there and two flaps there fold it back up make sure we're okay yep and make sure we're okay there yeah, we're fine. Okay, so again, like we did with the other uh, envelopes in the, the previous video, we're going to take away this flap here and we're going to very carefully just slightly notch down. So we'll just do that now. And again, remember I said about sticking as closely as you can to that fold line. Um, and ideally you want to be on the inner side of it rather than the outer side of it, but not, not a lot, if that makes sense. A little notch there. As you can see, I haven't cut very neatly across there now, and I've got a little bit of a, a paper fold, so I'll try and shave that off if I can, because otherwise that's just going to stick out. Okay, here we go. And then, same on the other side. So again, just following that fold line all the way down, and then we will just notch it up like that. Okay. Okay, and then at the top, we are then going to, because obviously this is our flap, but we don't need these on the flap, do we? So we're going to now just cut down here. And then again, tab them off. And the same at the top, we're just going to cut down here. And then again, tap away. Okay, so let's move those pieces out of the way a second. So now, you should have your folds in the top here. The bottom section should be able to come up here like that. And then your flap at the top to close like a lid. So this is the point where you can just have a quick look and think, right, well, I've... It's a little bit out of shape there, so you might just want to go back and just shave those bits off that piece there. Um, and again, then not worrying so much about the top one because we'll take a little bit off that in a second. But um, if you're happy, you, you can glue that in place. Um, another thing that you can do if you want to is you can fold the top down slightly so that you've um, reinforced the top. So if you're using like quite thin paper, like old book pages, you might just want to reinforce that flap there and then glue that down, um, as I've done um, with this one here with the Edith Holden page. So I've literally just taken 
the extra flap and I just folded it down a little bit and that's just given me then um, that's a nice reinforced top edge there um, so once you've done that and you're happy with that we're gonna then just look at the the top so I mean that's fine you can have your envelope that shape if you like but you know it's nice perhaps to just um, shape the top now don't if you're gonna take the, uh, the, um, the corners off slightly be careful that you don't cut from here down because if you cut from here down and take that triangle you're going to end up with a gap then you can see that there so whatever you do when you're shaping try to leave um, the amount of the gap that is there is here between the top of the uh, envelope fold inside and this bit here and then the same on the inside so for, I can see here thankfully that's why I've left that paper hanging over um, I don't know if you can see that there I don't want to be cut in in at my angle any lower than that so if you're really unsure it's worth just putting a little pencil mark there and can I see this side yeah I can and a little pencil mark there just so that I know right I don't want to be cutting any low and then from this angle then from that little mark I'm just gonna simply notch away it's a very very tiny amount but it just adds a little bit of interest that's probably not enough there adds a little bit of interest then um, to the envelope so then when you close it down if you see <laughs> but we can't see now because it's uh, music paper sorry but when you, you you shut the lid down then you shouldn't be able to see um, the flap of the envelope underneath it, your, your cut look should come from there all right otherwise you'll be exposing all this bit here so all you then simply do is glue these closed so I just do that quickly now demonstrate that for you so glue the flap there glue the flap there now obviously how um, you shape your final um, you know you, you have your final shape is entirely up to you and it's, it's personal preference so um, some people like to take away the, the top flap here so that you don't see that others like to leave it in place so that when you're sliding your piece of paper in and out you can see where um, the paper needs to to go into that makes sense um, you can also shape the top of here if you wanted to you could put um, a, a thumb a hole in there just so that you can you know help you easier get out whatever's inside your envelope lots of different things you can do um, but again it's all down to to you and how comfortable you feel once you've mastered making the simple shape of the envelope so that's that shape there okay and then the last one and probably the easiest one perhaps I should have started with this one really um, when you're making your squares to make the first shape envelope you're going to end up with lots and lots of pieces of paper left over the shape so you can use these uh, pieces of paper to make um, another side of envelope so basically if there is anything interesting on the paper as well try to incorporate that if you can with where you fold it so there's a nice little picture of the booze there, so I'm going to try and bring that up here. Um, and you're going to just take it up so that you're almost, oh, probably almost that much there. I don't know what that is, and percentages and fractions. My days of fractions are over now. Now my son's back in school, thank goodness. <laughs> um, and then leaving that flap there, but as I say, try to just leave a little bit of a gap if you can. And then... Bring that down and there you've got a simple envelope so again with this style here you can um i think that i will in fact i'm going to just put a little notch in this just so that i can see and for ease of pulling things out oh. Oh, sorry it's alive oh my cutters need sharpening i don't know why but doing something with the lentilum there we go right so now you've got a little thumb hole you can also if you want to just slightly fold this down just to give you a bit more space to play with um, and again depending on your type of paper it'll uh, reinforce the paper that you're working with um, for the entrance and exit rather of the envelope but that can just make it a little bit more interesting um, again looking at the top of the flap 
leaving um, a centimeter and then cutting just a slight off the edge there. And again, leaving a centimeter and just cutting a slight edge off there. And then if we glue the sides, and obviously when you glue the sides of this envelope, you are gonna lose some space inside. So obviously just for you to be aware of that, um, you know, on making, I suppose another um, alternative um, idea perhaps that you could do, and also it would help them with the decoration if you're using scrap pieces, uh, you could seal it with washi tape. That's, you know, another option. And then of course, if you do seal an envelope with washi tape on the outside, the inside then is all uh, usable, isn't it? So. Half it, and then just stick this down. Here we go, and that's your third envelope shape. And here's one I did with the embossed paper earlier. So again, so, so you're just making sure that when you cut that angle on the triangle, you just leave a little bit so that when you fold over, it doesn't show the bit underneath um but yeah they are your three basic envelope shapes so they're the ones i've done just stick that down these are the ones i've done um using the scrap pieces um there we go so that one's quite this is quite a nice envelope i think when you want to pop something you could embellish that nicely put a little flower on there but that's ideal end to put with a tiny ticket of a bit of ephemera in there um, to go and attach with a paper clip in your, your journals. Um, so they're ideal for that. Um, you've then got this style, which is, again, obviously they're all perfect for using in junk journals, but I mean, if you've got a nice sheet of um, paper like I have here, so these are one of our uh, invoices design pages from our um, kits. If you were using something like that, you could um, not seal it. So you don't always have to glue it down. And then, because obviously you've got the white on the inside, you can embellish the front, um, put a bit of lace on here. But then if you don't seal it then and you just put it in with a paper clip or in a tuck spot, you can use that then as extra journal in space um, and just slot that into your journal. Um, again then with this, so you've got this nice design, you can add that in and put it in a pocket embellish the front and then we've got this shape here so let's just pop that down there and then um, again that's ideal again but you want to glue that that, that bit down there just to make that a little bit more secure um, and again you can either fold the top over to reinforce or you can add um, a little circle thumb grab hold there as well okay so that's our three designs for making um, a simple envelope um, I hope that's been helpful and we'll be back with some more ideas very shortly. Take care now. Bye.